friends, what's up? This is RK from 360 Reader. Right now, I'm going to talk about the best tips and tricks to fix live text not working issues in iOS 15 on iPhone and iPad. iOS 15 has come up with a ton of pretty cool features including live text that allows you to recognize text from image or any objects. Unfortunately, a number of iOS 15 users have reported that live text is not working for them. If you are one of them, then these tips can prove to be pretty helpful. That said, let's cut the chase finally. Before getting started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and also hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 Reader. The very first thing that you should do is to ensure that your devices are fully compatible. Unfortunately, not all the iOS 15 supported iPhone or iPads are compatible with live text. Here is the list of all the iPhone models that support live text. iPhone Tennis, iPhone Tennis Max, iPhone Tenor, iPhone 11, 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max and iPhone SE 2 or 2020, iPhone 12, iPhone 12 Mini, iPhone 12 Pro and iPhone 12 Pro Max. Here is the list of all the iPad models that support live text. iPad Pro 2020 and later 5th generation iPad Mini or later iPad Air 2019 or later iPad 2020 or later. It's worth pointing out that all the M1 powered Macs running macOS Monterey support live text. Do know that as of now, live text supports only seven languages including English, Chinese, French, Italian, German, Spanish, and Portuguese. Now let's talk about the places where you can use live text on your iPhone and iPad. It's worth noting that you can use live text not only in the Photos app but also in the Camera app. In the Photos app, look for the tiny live text button to instantly recognize text from any image or screenshot. After that, select the text and then choose to look up, copy, share or translate the selected text. In the Camera app, simply point the camera at any image or object. When the viewfinder has surrounded the text, tap on the live text button to recognize the text. In any messaging app, simply touch the text input field and then choose text from camera. After that, use the camera to recognize the text. You can also do the same in Spotlight and any web browser to be more precise. You can use live text wherever there is a text input option. Just in case live text is still not working even after you have checked out all the requirements and compatibility, then force restart your device. The reason why I suggest you to force restart your device is because it's pretty helpful when it comes to fixing common iOS or iPad OS issues. To force restart your iPhone 10 or so later including iPhone SE 2020 and iPad without home button, press and quickly release the volume up button, then press and quickly release the volume down button, then hold down the side button or top button until you see Apple logo on the screen. And to force restart your iPad with home button, Button, hold down the home button and the top button at once until you see Apple logo on the screen. After your device has restarted, check out if live text has started to work normally. If it has, then you are good to go. If you still can't use live text on your iPhone or iPad, then it's time to go for resetting all settings. The reason why I suggest you to do it is because it has the knack for fixing complex iOS and iPad OS issues. To get it on, simply launch settings app on your device and then tap general. After that, scroll down to the bottom and tap reset. Now tap on reset all settings and confirm the action. Keep in mind that it will put your device to factory default, but both or not, it won't delete any media or data on your device. If none of the tricks has worked in fixing the live text not working issues on your iPhone or iPad, then it's time to go for software update. More often than not, Apple releases software updates with plenty of bug fixes and performance enhancements. That's why it's always recommended to keep the device updated to the latest version of iOS or iPad OS. To get it done, simply launch settings app on your iPhone or iPad, then tap on general. After that, tap on software update and then download and install the latest version of iOS or iPadOS on your iPhone or iPad. 
That's pretty much it. Hopefully you have started to use live text on your iPhone or iPad normally. Now let me know the solution that has worked for you and if you have found any other solution that works in fixing live text not working issues in iOS 15 or iPad OS 15 then let me know that as well. If you have found this video helpful make sure to like and share it and I'll see you in the next video with more such helpful tips and tricks till then stay safe and have an amazing time. Bye-bye.